here. I'm the managing director at Walk-In Clinic, London's favorite GP and testing service. I am here with our founder and our head doctor, Dr. Inama Boud, uh, who started Walk-In Clinic back in 2008. Um, hello and welcome. So today I'm having a consultation. How fun for me. <laughs> Um, in the open air, considering <laughs> yes, in London, in London, central London, in our garden here. Um, so yes, uh, viewers and listeners, you may hear occasional drilling uh, <laughs> because we are dead in town uh, near Oxford Circus. Um, so, as someone who runs a healthcare business, I have to say I don't see the doctor very often. <laughs> um, and so one of the things that I thought would be useful, because I think some of the health challenges that I've had are going to be familiar to quite a lot of people who work pretty hard, run their own businesses or that kind of thing. Sure. Um, because we do tend to be experts at some self-neglect uh, <laughs> while we look after everything and everyone else. So... To give you a little bit of background, so I probably have gained some weight over the last five or six years. That's mostly stress related, definitely lifestyle related. My exercise has reduced. My diet has changed. I, I find myself doing takeout much more than I used to, um, eating later than I used to, maybe not sleeping as well. And I'm trying to start a journey back to a really healthy place because sure. I find I'm finding now that especially as I'm getting older it's causing me some aches and pains um, I feel a bit inflamed um, all of these sorts of things so if you were consulting someone like me what would be the first thing obviously there are lots of things I should change I understand but what would be the first thing I should change, do you think, to set me right on this journey? Well, thank you very much uh, to be really frank. Um, I admire that and I'm a proud of you. Oh. And that is really, I think, is the most important step of this journey is to acknowledge that we are not doing things correctly and asking for help mm -hmm. to make it right. One very important thing uh, I need to know from you is your background, uh, family history. Uh, is there any heart disease? Is there diabetes? Is there high blood pressure? Is there a high cholesterol? Because all of these need to be addressed, especially when we are getting older. Um, and they can be prevented simply by changing lifestyle. So do you have any of these conditions in your family? Yes, definitely. I think I have all of the things you listed okay um certainly diabetes uh certainly heart disease okay yeah so that is even now becoming more of a prime concern um to really be able to take that into account so that while you are becoming healthier and fitter you are actually preventing any of this list of the diseases on the list to become reality and that is really very important. Mm -hmm. uh, when you are very busy running a business, dealing with so many tasks, many of them perhaps parallel, uh, you always put your well-being to the bottom of the list, which is contrary to what should happen. You should be at the top of the list because if you're not well, then none of the things that you want to do will happen. You can't run your business effectively. You cannot enjoy your life effectively. You cannot enjoy your private life effectively. So you've really got to stay healthy and well. My understanding is that your job, mainly perhaps it is a desk job. Mm -hmm. So sitting at your chair, looking at computers for many hours. Um, and that will also, so what that will do to you will affect affect your musculoskeletal structure, meaning you can get stiff, lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulders in particular, your muscles of the back muscle, the triangular muscles, which we call them the trapezii, a trapezius muscle, uh, there are two of them, and the muscles underneath, because you see our shoulders can do this, 
when we are stressed, when we are dealing with something very important. Um, and um, then there is pain, difficulty, tenderness, and that can cause also headache. Looking at the computer screen, eyes can get tired because you see when we move our eyes, uh, there are muscles that move our eyes. They also can get tired. Like your arm can get tired if you lift this cup and keep on lifting it up and down for many times. The eyes also can get tired. So you definitely, as the initial step, look at your workstation. Correct chair? Do you need adjustment? Do you need perhaps a combination of a standing workstation and sitting workstation? Do you need perhaps to take regular short uh, breaks so that you can walk about a little bit and then do some stretches and uh, rest your eyes. So this is something very important that you need to do. And we're talking here about a prevention. Mm -hmm. um, and it is a practical thing to do. That is really very important. Mm -hmm. So that's the first step. Then look at your food. I do not encourage diets. I always encourage healthy eating because certain foods that are good, even healthy foods, that could be good for some people, might not be good for other people. For example, um, dairy products. There's nothing wrong with having dairy products unless you are lactose intolerant. That will give you a troublesome symptoms. Uh, so whatever is healthy for you, whatever it is you like and enjoy, but your diet need to contain protein, good protein, eggs, chicken, fish, meat, not very fatty ones, but seafood is a great, mm -hmm. really pure, healthy protein, lots of vegetables, different color vegetables. These are really important. You need some carbs. Uh, so none of that keto business where people only eat a protein. You need carbs because when you are thinking working, uh, planning, your brain really needs a quite a lot of glucose. Um, brain needs more glucose than the rest of our body. And this is best coming from complex carbohydrates, like whole meal, multi-seeded bread, for example, uh, the baby potatoes, variety of vegetables will also give you, uh, give you that. Uh, rice particularly wild rice, brown rice, but nothing wrong with having, for example, basmati rice, mm -hmm. uh, peas, a uh, variety of vegetables, and nothing wrong with also eating frozen vegetables. They still have nutrition in them, and they are very easy to do rather than you go and order takeaways. Yeah, I mean, takeaway services, when they emerged, and the ease with which I can just order to my desk... Sometimes, you know, I might be working late and I'll order dinner to my desk. You know, it is. And I, I think the thing that I didn't expect and I read something about is the hidden fat and salt in what otherwise could be a healthy meal. Oh, absolutely. And that really shocked me, actually. It shocked me. It shocked me how much, um, how many calories are in a sandwich that you buy from a cafe or restaurant or, or whatever, yes. or a chain, compared to making it yourself. I found that shocking, the difference. Um, I totally agree with you. You know, I used to take pictures of ingredients of healthy chicken sandwich. I still have it. Mm. But you have, I think, half a page of ingredients, chicken and breast and vegetables. Why do we have all of that? Mm. Even the chicken itself uh, was impregnated with um, things to enhance its taste. Mm -hmm. um, look, simple stuff keep in your fridge. King of prawns, mm -hmm. smoked salmon, mm -hmm. avocados, cherry tomatoes, some baby vegetables, some very nice hummus, for example, uh, balsamic vinegar and extra virgin olive oil, uh, boiled eggs, boil them and keep them there. Um, cold cut meats. Mm -hmm whether it is ham or turkey or chicken or even roast beef. Mm. So don't need to cook. You just get a nice large plate and put a little bit of everything there and look at it. It looks beautiful. Mm. 
you know, uh, green pepper, red pepper, mm. yellow pepper, and then, you know, you can celery, you can dip it in the hummus, mm. eat the proteins. The calorie value is fantastic, mm. really. A meal like that... You get a lot of nutrition for your buck, basically. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you're not going to worry about calories. They're all unnecessary or saturated fat, mm. but the nutritional value is fantastic. You know, your gut will be delighted, will be very happy, and it will pay you back yeah. because those vegetables really are the food for your good bacteria. Yeah. These are your prebiotics. So the gut will get healthier. That will help you not getting tired. That will help you staying well, will improve your immunity, and believe it or not, will help you also lose weight. So that's really interesting. So really what I'm hearing here is that if I if I have to put energy anywhere at the beginning, it's put it into my, obviously my workstation and, and my work life where I spend most of my time, but also improving my diet. Because I assume then that once my diet's improved, my energy levels will be such Definitely. where I can get to the gym after a busy work day because I still have plenty of energy left. You would. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. And talking about the gym, exercise doesn't have to be a gym. Mm. It's what you like. Mm. Because if we do what we like, we are bound to continue. So let's say if you like walking, go walking. Uh, listen to music, listen to podcasts, listen to whatever while you're walking. Mm. When you walk, you don't have to be really out of breath. A brisk walk. Mm. They say on average is about the speed of three miles an hour. Um, you enjoy walking in the open spaces, parks, and London is fantastic for that, will also help you mentally. It alleviates stress, mm -hmm. it makes you feel better, and studies have actually shown it's an excellent solution uh, to prevent depression mm -hmm. and help people who are depressed. You can dance. You can put some nice music in your room and dance. That's a very good way of exercising, combination of music and movement. Mm -hmm. If you enjoy the gym, go to the gym, absolutely, and do your workout and enjoy it. But you see, you need to think of it as a very important factor of keeping you well. So put it in your diary mm -hmm. rather than say, uh, if I feel okay, I will do it. Mm -hmm. If I have time, I will do it. Or let me finish this before I do it. No, if it is in your diary, it becomes a task. And for a professional woman like you, I um, have no doubt you will stick to it and then becomes your routine. Dr. Abu, thank you so much. Hopefully next time we talk, I'm well on my way on this journey. Thank you so much. And I wish you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you.